Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Vegetable and Fruit versus 110 volts. Let's see if we can run enough voltage through a vegetable, pickle, or fruit in order to light up the light bulb. So let's get started. Okay, in vegetable and fruit verse 110, here's what I'll be using. Uh, here's my rig. I got a very cheap light fixture. Put a light bulb in it. Uh, cut the wire. Put in some alligator clips. You can see. Yes, I've used this before. And I can plug this into the outlet, which will result in 110 volts going through the vegetable or fruit. And here are my cast of characters. We've got... A pickle, and you may have seen other videos of the glowing pickle. feel pretty good about the pickle. We've got some celery because you have lots of liquid, although water does not conduct electricity. Water plus ions in the form of sodium or anything else will. We've got a cucumber because it's basically a pickle without uh, being pickled. Some pickled asparagus. Feeling good about the pickled asparagus because of all the salt in it. And... I know it's not a vegetable, but our friend, the apple, because again, lots of water, and I'm feeling pretty good about the apple. So uh, let's get started. Okay, up first is the pickle, and you can see how I have the um, clips into the pickle, and uh, I don't think I need to remind you, this can be dangerous. Use parent supervision, and of course, your goggles, which I will have on my head. So uh, let's see what happens. Our goal is to get the light bulb to light uh, and see if anything else happens. So here we go. Okay, we've got a nice yellow light, but no light bulb. Oh, bummer. Pickle. I thought you had it in you. But let's see. We've got some other people to try out. Just for fun, let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Let's see what this looks like with the lights off. I can get it to work. Oh, there's that nice yellow light because sodium emits a yellow light when charged. Kind of fun there, but the light bulb is not lighting. Okay, we've got other vegetables to use. Okay, it looks like the celery is all set up, ready to go. And uh, come on, celery. You're kind of salty when I eat you. I'm hoping there's a little salt in there along with the water. Nothing. Let's see if I can at least get the standard hiss. And a little bit of smoke just from steam, but no electricity flowing through you to light up the light bulb. We have the cucumber fired up, ready to go. You can see the clips in and okay, cucumber, it's your moment of moment of truth. Hmm. Nothing. A little smoking maybe, but what a dud. No light, no light on either side. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the asparagus. Come on, asparagus, let's do something. Feeling good about with your ions? Hmm. Nothing. Not even a smoke or a hiss. There's a, maybe some smoking. Okay, asparagus, a little disappointed in what you did. Okay, the apple looks a little bit like it's going in for open heart surgery. So, uh, let's see. Hopefully you can conduct electricity through to light the light bulb. Let's see. Ah, what a dud. Not even any smoke. Nothing. No ions in there. No salt in that apple. Oh, well. Okay. So, maybe we'll end up, and I'll try one more time with the pickle. Maybe set it up a okay, little bit. Okay, this is my last effort to try to get enough electricity to flow through the pickle to the light bulb. I've tried to get the positive as close as possible without them uh, touching. And let's see what happens. Uh, once again, not enough. Light bulb is not on. Uh. Oh well, Pickle, you gave it your best shot. But it was a nice glow, but the light bulb did not come on. So the moral of the story is this. If you need to conduct enough electricity to light a light bulb, It'd probably be yes to use some type of metal instead of a vegetable or a pickle or maybe an apple or something like that. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.